Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Switzer 1 video. And today we are back in X-Plane, finally. You know, I'm back home so I can record videos with my computer, whatever. Today we are spawned into an A320 to check out quite a special and very, very, very uncommon scenario. Now, uh, let's check out the aircraft. First, obviously, we have a uh, very normal livery. You know, Reiner totally operates the A320, so everything is normal. Nothing is unusual here. This is honestly kind of terrifying to see a Reiner A320. Today, we're going to simulate a software crash. Now, yes, the A320 runs off a lot of software. Obviously, we have the whole navigation system, like the MCDU and the primary flight displays and the other instruments and stuff. They all run off a of software, obviously. Now, today, let's see what happens if that whole software crashes. And if we also crash, like the whole plane, you know? Now, let's go ahead and take off first, right? Uh, we have some flaps already. Let's just go ahead and, um, you know, normally take off shouldn't be a problem. Let's go for a nice toga takeoff because why not? Man, togo, to, to, toga. Now, yeah, by the way, I forgot to kind of mention we are at Palma de Mallorca Airport. This is quite a nice airport, isn't it? Rotate now. We have rotate speeds. This was quite a nice rotation, rotation, whatever. Let's go ahead and put the gear up because, you know, that's what you do. And that's quite a vertical takeoff here. That was totally fine. Everything about this takeoff was good. Now, you know what? Uh, let's just dive right into crap crashing our software and let's find out if that also makes us dive like the the plane dive like it, it knows dives you know whatever now we'll start off with crashing the flight management computer the mcdu which is what it's called in airbus planes now this is uh what the flight management computer looks like or fms or fmc you know this is for planning the flight you have uh, stuff like flight number here and generally your flight plan uh everything you know i mean this obviously makes sense let's see what happens if we crash it obviously in our case we won't be that affected because well we have no flight plan filed we're just flying uh, around right we have an extra menu called failures let's just activate failure i think bang ding ow is the right one and now we have loaded in bang ding ow and obviously we have a problem now as you can see right here one of our MCDUs is actually completely dead. Screen is completely black. Yeah, its software has crashed. Same with the MCDU2. That one has actually frozen. The screen is still on, but it's it's frozen. It's completely dead. Yeah, good night. Maybe we're a bit fast as well, but that's a whole other topic. Now, that is obviously, again, not really much of a problem for us as we don't have anything planned anyway. And in real life, obviously, you wouldn't directly fall into a nosedive or something. This is just completely normal but what i've noticed was that the autopilot does not want to work even the autopilot is still working in this case. So, you know, this is really not too bad. But let's just activate another failure, which is the We Too Low failure, as I like to call it. And that will basically kill everything. Yep. Uh, well, so pretty much half of our screens are dead. And the other half of our screens are frozen, as you can see right here. Yeah, this is not doing anything anymore. So we have basically lost all our instruments. Something that we do have in this Airbus, though, is backup instruments. Those are still working yes as you can see right here we have a backup primary flight display which is still perfectly working so we can still uh, find out what kind of speed we have now in this case we would obviously return to the airport did i actually forget to uh put gear up the whole time Wh whatever we can leave it down because we are about to land anyway without instruments now in our case the system crash has not affected the fly-by-wire system which is basically the whole uh flight controlling system as you can see right here we can still normally fly i do not know if actually the fly-by-wire system of the Airbus A320 runs off a software that can crash and cause controlling issues, but I don't think so. Generally, the computers in planes are very bug-free and glitch-free. If we kind of exclude the 737 map, you know, this kind of case is so uncommon. Something that is more likely to happen is kind of a random failure of the screen when it just dies. That can happen. I actually do not know if it has happened before. 
before. But again, you have backup screens and you know, that's not too dangerous after all. A plane is also kind of landable without instruments, kind of. Now, obviously a problem that we have right now is that we don't know where our actual airport is that we are supposed to land at. We are very fast. I did not know that. And we have to always kind of take a glance at this small display. Obviously, as we have no navigation right here, uh, I don't know where we are. I mean, we can, uh, you know, open Google Maps in our browser. That could work, right? And as gear is also down, we don't have any problem with that. So this will most probably be a good landing, right? It's kind of weird to see the primary flight display, you know, so stuck. We have established quite a good airspeed. I think the autopilot is also working. Yep, the autopilot just... Oh, it's just perfectly working. Oh God. Oh, you should kind of, you know, clean this by the way. This is uh, kind of gross. Same with the tablet. That also looks very dirty, whatever. Now, another thing that can crash is obviously the radios, but yeah, all that does not typically lead to a fatal crash. And after all, only if parts of the aircraft control system crashes, then a plane would obviously run into issues. Let's just go ahead and uh, try to settle this plane down. I'm not cheating at all to save time. This is a bit harder than I thought. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very weird to land without instruments generally. I think our airspeed is good. Oh, that's gonna be a hard one. Oh god. <clears throat> that was a good landing. Actually, fun fact. Actually, on this day, today, an A321 had such a hard touchdown on the nose gear that the nose gear actually came <laughs> came through the fuselage, kind of. It actually stuck out of the cabin floor. And yeah, that's a true story, and it's pretty funny, actually. Very embarrassing for the pilots. And that landing was obviously not very good, but you have to consider that I didn't have any instruments and stuff, and that was flying Ryanair, which is kind of a cursed thing to do on an A320. Let's check out that landing though. I mean, it cannot be too bad, right? Actually, the engine sounds are pretty dead in replay, so rip, I guess. Let's check out that landing. Yeah, that was pretty much the worst landing I've done ever. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.